Hey guys, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Nagina's traditional taste. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I am going to share my roast chicken recipe with you. I've got all of my ingredients right here in front of me. So let's follow the recipe step by step. Okay, so these are the ingredients that you need to make this dish. Uh, first of all, I've got my chicken pieces. These are the legs that I'm using. I've cleaned them up already. I made some cuts on the chicken. These are uh, bone in skinless pieces. So that's clean and ready on this side. Um, over here, let me put this bowl over to the side first. So in terms of ingredients, what you need um, are, um, I have a mayo here, plain yogurt, carom seeds, granulated garlic, granulated onion, homemade curry powder, coriander powder, tandoori masala, lemon juice, olive oil, sriracha sauce, Kashmiri red chili, homemade garam masala, um, vinegar, and some salt. What I'm going to do is I am going to add all of these ingredients in this bowl and mix them around to make a nice uh, thick sort of paste. And once that paste is ready, I am going to um, mix my chicken pieces or the paste on top of the chicken pieces, but I'll show you that. Okay, almost there. Okay, I'm gonna give it a nice mix. So it looks, all the spices are actually mixed together um, and the paste is nice and smooth. That's what I'm looking for. And I'll show you the color um, that you're looking for at the end. Uh, tandoori masala has some spices in it, but um, mainly it's used for that red color. Um, so be careful when you are putting it in. I don't put in too much. I am making a lot of chicken and I probably use maybe a tablespoon or so. Um, that's pretty much it, it does have salt. So you need to be careful when you're using that and then adding your own salt too, right? Okay, so this is how the, the marinade looks. So you see how it's nice and thick. It's a pasty um, mix. I am now going to pour this on top of the chicken and mix it with my hands nicely so to make sure that all the cuts and everything else uh, gets the masala in that and uh, then i am going to take you over to my skillet because this recipe i am going to make in an electric skillet so i'll take you over to the skillet and show you how it's cooking throughout the process actually throughout the cooking process i will um, show you how it looks okay okay so there you go this is how the chicken uh, looks nicely covered in that marinade that I just made. Uh, what I'm gonna do next is take you over to the skillet and add these pieces in that and start the cooking process. So let's go over there. All right, so my electric skillet is on. I am going to start adding the chicken pieces in it. It's nice and hot, I can, I can um, feel the heat. So there you go. You don't need to add oil at the bottom at all because it's uh, nonstick. So it, the chicken is going to nicely get roasted without any oil or anything like that. And plus I've added um, olive oil in the marinade. So that's more than enough. So here, it cooks really nicely. Um, it has a totally different taste compared to oven roasted chicken or the, you know, any other style. This is unique. So I thought it would be really nice to share this with you. And I'm definitely hoping that you will try this recipe and enjoy it as much as my family does and let me know how it turns out. So there you go. I think I'm gonna do these many pieces and then um, I'm gonna have to do another batch. So there you go, this is how it looks. I'm gonna now cover it up and let this cook until a few minutes and then I'm going to flip the chicken, okay? All right, so let's start flipping the chicken now. It's been cooking for a bit. It smells absolutely amazing. You see that? It's gonna develop this really nice 
golden brown crust and the chicken is going to be so nice and tender. I'm gonna flip it all around and let it cook again on the other side. Um, chicken will leave some water because obviously I've added yogurt and vinegar and all these spices, so I'm prepared for that. And that's how the chicken actually cooks anyway, so. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so the chicken is cooking almost ready. Um, I would say another maybe 10 minutes or so. So it's cooking in its steam, right? So the electric skillet, one, one good thing about that is that it has evenly distributed heat so that there's a ring of, um, you know, element right around underneath. So the, all the pieces get equal amount of heat, so it cooks pretty fast. Um, as soon as this water that you see right now in the pot, um, it's dry, I will um, show you the chicken and it most likely will be ready, but we'll take a look to double check and everything. But it's cooking nicely as you can see. So there you go. All right, so the chicken is ready. As you can see, take a look. You see that? There's no uh, water left. This is just nicely roasted in the oven. All the pieces are cooked properly, as you can see. Look at that. The chicken is really, really tender, right? right. So, it took me, I would say in this skillet, uh, half an hour, not even, to make this dish. So, again, you can serve this with just salad, or you could have it with um, as a side dish, right? Whatever you prefer, but it's super simple and super tasty. Let me show you the close up. Okay, there you go. See that? All the spices are nicely covering every single chicken piece. And I remember I made those nice deep cuts. So all the spices and the marinade is nicely absorbed. Um, and each cut, each piece. It's really, really tender and really um, tasty recipe. There you go. I hope that you like this video. Uh, please do remember to subscribe to my channel. Till next time, take care and stay safe.